IQ is an organization founded a little over 100 years ago, and their role is to promote the impact of the minerals and quarrying industry and to support professionals at all levels of their career in that space. And so they are a small staffed organization uh, with about 6,000 members. One of the questions that they've been asked in the last year is why develop an app? You know, why did IQ's 2020 engagement strategy focus on mobile? And to understand that, it helps to understand some of the challenges that they were facing. They needed to modernize their technology and they needed to better meet the needs of their members. Uh, in 2019, their existing technology was somewhat fragmented. They did not have solid integrations between their platforms. And so this lack of data sharing really restricted their view of member activities and their needs. And this made it difficult to engage effectively with their members. Their CBD platform, which was to track educational credits, uh, in their words, was clunky and their servers needed upgrading, their website wasn't really equipped to be able to develop a portal that could deliver personalized content behind a login. And of course, like many associations, they had limited resources, not necessarily 100% buy-in of making change within the organization. And so they really knew that they just, they needed to modernize. The other thing though that they realized was that they knew their members spent very little time at a desk or a computer. They were mostly on site and mostly on their mobile phones. In fact, when they looked at their analytics, 90% of their members accessed content via mobile devices. And this is not unique to IQ members. Most people around the world use their mobile devices to access content. And so they made a very forward thinking decision to focus their investment on developing a mobile app instead of conforming to the more traditional web approach. So they took this idea. First thing they did was they put a focus group together of members to basically test the idea with them. They also ran an independent member review of their current content, their current engagement touch points, and really how members were consuming information from the organization. And the outcome of both of those really confirmed their belief that a mobile app would be the best approach and that gave their team a lot of confidence. And so in early 2020, IQ selected RD Mobile as their app partner. And there was a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, they felt that they could work with us to meet the needs that their members had. They really liked the Engage Fully product because it meant that they weren't starting from scratch with a custom app development. Also, the Engage Fully product is highly configurable, so they could really make it specific to meet these specific challenges that they were facing. One of those included the ability to integrate with their CRM system so that they could add and update contact records. There's an admin portal for the product, which means that IQ staff could make changes and updates to their app at any time in real time. So they could take curated industry news and information. They could take content from their own sources like their acquiring management magazine, and they could provide this information to the app themselves. And then also, because they did not have a large budget to work with, the Engagely product was a very affordable solution to be able to institute an app for the organization. So their initial strategy was that they were going to first focus and capitalize on international growth opportunities. They were gonna take workers from other countries and basically convert them into subscribers by offering them curated content. So this was a growth move for the organization. And then after they had rolled out that phase, phase two was going to be to roll the app out to their UK members. Well, of course, then COVID happened. And unfortunately, 80% of IQ's members were furloughed as a result of the pandemic. So this introduced a real crisis for the industry and also, it really brought new engagement challenges. One of the big ones was that IQ mainly communicated with their members via their work email, which many of those workers would no longer have access to. And so they knew that they would be unlikely to reach them when those individuals needed them the most. And so very quickly realized that this was not the right time to be focusing on international growth, that they needed to focus 100% of their attention on their existing community because they knew that they needed to be there for their industry at that time, or 
it would have a negative impact not only on the industry but on the organization as well. So they made a very quick decision to switch the purpose of the app to launch it for the UK members instead of for the international subscribers. IQ can now say that the mobile app is now the member portal and main digital source of content, guidance and support. And it gives their members control of their experience and allows them to deliver personalized automated content. So let's dive into the functionality. One of the first priorities and one of the big priorities is that both the furloughed and the working members needed to continue to stay current with their skill set. They needed to be able to continue to evolve for their professional development and focus on their development goals. And so IQ is able to provide a lot of the content around their IQ skills wheel. And this enabled members to take charge of their learning and development. They could access fact sheets, they could access articles, webinars that would directly address the knowledge gaps that they had and allow those members to identify their own learning pathways. And again, all of this was easy because they could upload all of that data through the portal and then it would automatically sync to all of those member devices and allow them to basically provide this content very, very quickly and very efficiently as global conditions changed. They were able to respond very quickly to that. The app also integrated with their LMS to provide mobile access to training and resources. And this really supports a growing global trend of micro learning, which micro learning is basically this idea of instead of having to carve out a large block of time to sit in front of a computer to get your continuing education, it's taking small pockets of time, a lunch break, waiting to pick up a child from school on the tube, that you could basically use a device, which most people at those times have a mobile device with them, to be able to take small pockets of time to focus on that education. Because of the fact that as members were learning, they also had access to update their CPD record, that means that they could very efficiently take this information and be able to get it into the system. And then IQ even went one step further because it also includes a auto update tool so that when IQ members attended IQ virtual events, that would all be automatically recorded into their CPD record. It also allowed user accounts to be linked to member records. And so creating a single source of truth and then putting the members in control of their own data so members could update their personal details and it integrated with their CRM system directly. So that gave members 24 seven access to be able to do that. And then one of the most powerful aspects of a native app is the communication aspect of it. It allowed them to now have a direct real time communication channel to the pockets of their members through push notifications and it did not require an email address. And so that was a really big deal. They could send information out with new content, changes in policies, industries, the job situation, all of these things could be basically delivered via the app. And then the app also supports targeted notifications, which means that those messages could even be personalized. And finally, IQ put a very strong emphasis on mental health support for members through the app. Members could get in touch with organizations and mental health charities, so they really could help provide for the members emotionally during this time. And then in addition, they also have been able to direct more people to the IQ Benevolent Fund, which is needed now more than ever. And this really helped address needs of members financially during this crisis. Some of the results that have come in, they uh, surveyed their membership, 95% of responders found that the app was easy to access and the content easy to understand. Through their feedback channels, they were told that the mental health content has been highly valued, and in some cases, even more so than the learning and development content. As a result of the app, they stopped supporting an additional standalone CPD recording tool, so members now have the flexibility to record their CPD information from any device, and this has made a significant difference to the organization and to the members. They were been able to engage and support their members through one of the most difficult times in their career, and they would not have been able to do that if not for the app. And then here's probably the biggest validation. Over 88% of their members have paid their 2021 renewal fees in full. And this exceeded IQ's own renewal targets and speaks volume to the fact that the app really delivered what it needed to during the pandemic. 